We're going to turn now to Major League Baseball's first lockout in more than 30 years. I don't feel frustrated. Um, I'm disappointed we didn't get to an agreement. That's different than being frustrated. The MLB lockout. Fans were uncertain if they were getting a season, and so were the players. The lockout began December 2nd of 2021, and it ended March 10th of 2022. This left many players stranded in free agency, with no team, not sure what city that their family was going to be living in. It was a mess, and Chris Bryant was a part of that entire hassle. He was teamless for the first time since he was drafted in 2010. This is someone who won a World Series and made several playoff appearances with one organization. Finding a new team was not going to be easy for him, and especially with the lockout. Before the lockout, he was unable to come to an agreement with the team, so he was left unsigned and waiting and waiting and waiting for the lockout to end. When it finally did end, spring training began almost directly after. Now imagine this, being a free agent not on a team while everyone else is in spring training. You would feel like an outlier. You would feel like you were being forced to make a decision immediately. According to Chris Bryan, that's the type of pressure he was under. He said, oh shoot, I need to get there. There were other teams interested, but I didn't want to wait around. It was a completely different situation for a lot of free agents at the time. In other words, he felt like he was being rushed to go and make a decision. In 2010, when he was drafted, he could have actually been a Rocky, but they decided to pass on him and drafted someone else. This time in free agency, the Rockies were not going to let Bryant slip by. And honestly, it was kind of vice versa. Bryant saw an opportunity to go and get paid by Colorado and go and get signed. He took that deal with the Rockies and he ran with it. He even recently told The Athletic that he didn't do as much research into the Rockies' prospects as he could have. Based on that quote, you would assume that things have gone real shaky with him and the team. And you would be absolutely correct if you did think that. In 2022, the team won 68 games, but they lost 94. Bryant was a solid player when he played, but he only recorded 160 at-bats in 2022. Staying healthy and staying around had to be the goal for 2023. Unfortunately, yet again, it was another bad year. The Rockies were actually even worse this time, losing 103 games. Bryant played down to his 680 OPS, and the once looked up to sensational athlete was now labeled as one of the worst contracts in all of baseball. Not only that, but the fans completely flipped the switch on Chris Bryant, and in most fans' eyes, he was now, yet again, another player who disappeared after getting the bag. But as I said, he was talking about how he did not do enough research into the Rockies' prospects, so I mean, to me, it sounds like he was saying that they were not good enough. That's at least how it sounds like to me. And if they really weren't good enough, that means he has to rot with Colorado and their bad future. Now, obviously, any bad future that Colorado has, he's going to be a big contribution in that because he just simply has not been successful. Although I will say he's done the right thing. After this entire narrative came out that he hated the Rockies, he went out and responded the correct way. He said this, I would have no room to even say anything like that when, of course, talking about the prospects ordeal, considering how my last two years have gone. For me to have the audacity to say something like that, oh, our players aren't good. I'm going to say something like that after not performing and not being on the field like that is never how I would ever come across. Again, clearly, this is someone who has taken accountability. We see a lot of players nowadays not do that at all. And then he run down. Brian is someone who can still turn things around. He could twist the narrative and show that he's truly a good player. He's also talked about how money and fame has changed him since becoming a Rocky, saying, I feel like when you do something for so long, sometimes you lose touch with reality of the situation and how cool it is. You kind of take it for granted sometimes. I don't take it for granted, but I think we all fall into that mindset sometimes. It's a privilege to play this game. Again, Bryant has love for the game of baseball, whether people disagree with that or not. It's the honest truth. A lot of people have been taking these comments that Bryant said and are trying to say that he hates the Rockies. But I believe it's clear 
he just wanted to have a normal free agent process, being able to evaluate all of his options. In the end, you want to do what's best for you on the field, and financially, Brian got the bag, you can't be mad at that. What do you guys think? I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe. If not, thanks for watching anyway, and peace out.